Hey guys, Peter Steele here, back with another video and we're taking another look at a disaster save and we're trying something from the other side, this time a Germany save sent in by Malcolm Luxford. So Malcolm writes to me, hi Peter Steele, I have no idea what happened here, my production was decent, I thought, I had enough planes to get green air and I had medium tanks. However, I couldn't break Belgium for whatever reason and it stalled. This is the situation a lot of new players find themselves in, by the way, so I'll talk you through it. Italy is gone, lasted about six months. Yeah, seems about right. I've got a decent amount of submarine raiders going and I did have a surplus of tanks, which is gone now. Okay. Mobile warfare doctrine research down to modern blitzkrieg and trade interdiction down to Wolfpack. I have fighter 2s and about 1.8k surplus fighter 1s. Yeah, those are not going to do much for you. Denmark is taken and one army is pushing through Norway. I have an army on the Italian... Uh, I have an army in the Italian Alps infantry. I have some light tank divisions. 20 widths, which I'm pretty sure are your favorite. LOL. Anyway, I thought it might be a good one to see. Thanks, Mal. All right, Malcolm, let's see what we can do here. So it's August 1940 and yeah, yeah, Italy's not looking too fresh. All right, let's see just how bad things really are. But because diapers and formula are expensive, first a message from our sponsor, Warpath. Now the bad news is there still isn't a Hearts of Iron version for mobile, a shame, I know, but there is good news. You can scratch that World War II strategy itch with Warpath. Warpath is a free-to-play strategy game for mobile set in the period of World War II. Totally free for both Android and iOS, so unless you're one of the three people with a Windows phone, they got you covered. Now the game features interesting scenarios such as the Normandy landings and the defense of Moscow. Great ways to waste a little bit of time on your phone on the go. Now in Warpath you are in command now, so bring glory to your people using an arsenal of historically accurate guns, tanks and aircraft. I do love me some history. And I believe they heard me complain without end about the need for air power in a modern war, because in the upcoming update the Air Force is getting a massive boost. 42 new bombers and fighter aircraft, including the legendary P-51 Mustang, the long-range fighter that made Allied bombing so effective. Other than that, they are adding two Air Force commanders, new Air Force buildings such as hangars, well, gotta put planes somewhere, and anti-aircraft guns, all available for you to decimate the enemy forces. Trust me, air is king. Control the skies and deny the enemy an entire dimension of the battlefield, go to town on those hapless ground forces with fire suppression for air to ground strikes and of course combined arms air and land synergy that is how you achieve battlefield domination you dominate the sky you win the war oh and fun fact one of my more famous countrymen makes an appearance jean-claude de van damme the muscles from brussels himself find him in warpath to unlock some exclusive commanders and aircraft units I wonder if he'll do a split i'd be disappointed if he wasn't anyway check out warpath today via my link in the description below and get yourself some free goodies and awesome rewards to get you started use these resources to get yourself a head start on other players defeat it's not an option. And I'll see you on the other side, generals. All right, at, at a glance, I'm, I'm going to start off by halting all these offensives here. These are pointless. If they're infantry, you're not going to get anywhere. Halt all divisions. I don't want any more attacks happening. Quick over a C. Let's have a quick look here. Norway. All right, we should be able to deal with whatever uh, the allies still have in the region. Just try and mop up those ports and push north. Uh be relatively easy if I can just mosey on along the coastline here to Trondheim I can cut off this section of the front and push north towards Narvik in case the Norwegians still haven't surrendered by now but that's a different concern oh right no no it's fine um, Alpine front's fine uh, this front may not be entirely fine this is actually pretty bad. All right, this is your armor. I'm gonna delete their orders, have a fallback line on Köln. I'm going to consolidate these into a couple of divisions that can actually still fight, because these are shot to pieces. They're not gonna be doing much. Also, Erwin Rommel, great guy, but I see you've given him some pretty bad traits. I, well, I take Kirilla expert. Instead, I'm gonna put Guderian in there. Guderian can sort this mess out. Oh. <sighs> Combi Why do you give him combined arms, expert? That's pointless. Uh, might as well just stick with 
Rommel in that case. Yeah, fuck it. Von Manstein it is. Uh, okay, sorry about that. And you've got uh, the Maginot covered. Yeah, I, I wouldn't dare pulling too many units off there. I know the French aren't very inclined to push out from here, but they've got a lot of divisions there. And I don't think you have the West Wall built, so no, no forts. Uh, Blaskovitz, you are commanding an army of seven twos. Of course you are. <sighs> stop attacking. I, I don't want any. Yeah, I. Sometimes you can't stop an attack until it's been going on for a while. It's fine. Convert you into ten zeros. Yes, I know. I know. I just don't want seven twos. They're too costly. Um, stockpiles are looking dire. All right, very dire. Let's see if we can fix it by changing divisions. So this is your Panzer division. <sighs> I'm not going to comment on it. I'm going to make those disappear as soon as I can. And these are your mediums. Okay, so it's a good place to start, but you have way, way too much motorized. And they're not, not 40 width. So what I'm going to do, uh, for starters, is remove some motorized. Add a little bit more medium tanks. I know, it's a lot of medium tanks. Up to 40 width. And you still have more than 30 organization. So it's, it's best to have more armor than motorized in these armor divisions. I'm also going to change the names because this is not an infantry division. Panzer Division. Mittelschwere. A Mittelschwere Panzer Division? I don't know. I, I'm not that good at German there. I'm going to make them elite. Good. That'll do. Uh, companies are fine. I wouldn't use motorized recon. I'd probably get maintenance companies instead. There. Um, infantry, your 10 zeros. I see you've got logistics companies. It's not a bad idea, but most of your fighting is going to be in Western Europe for now until you want to kick down the Soviet's door. And the supply here isn't as bad. I would recommend getting rid of supply companies until you start pushing into Russia. And for now, that will free up a lot of trucks, trucks and infantry equipment and support equipment will need to reinforce our troops. All right, I see you're producing some stuff, so that's good. I'm going to keep this guy going, and I'm going to get rid of this guy. I, Sorry, I just don't want this unit. It's so bad. Actually, I might as well deploy it and deal with it later. Then high priority on reinforcements and garrisons. Uh, Cavalry Brigade. I think you... Oh, please tell me you're not using... Yeah, you're using that for um, garrison template. I'll edit that a little. I'm gonna use this one, add military police, and make it a teeny tiny bit larger. No, no armor cars. Uh, it's gonna be more cost effective. Ideally, you want this entire thing filled with cavalry, uh, but this will do for now. And we'll switch our template over to Schnelle Division. That's gonna require a little less equipment. Good, all right. Uh, in terms of the army, that's gonna be it. No, I wanna recruit. I need more divisions, so I'm going to start training an additional army uh, somewhere around the front, because one army is not going to hold this. It, it would have been fine, but you failed to capitulate the Low Countries quick enough, and now uh, French troops are rushing into Brussels, and Belgium will be reinforced with troops from all over the world. You'll have the French, the English, and all the Commonwealth in there. It's not going to work. Your Alpine front's fine, though. This terrain is easily defensible. Can hold that with one army. But we'll need more troops for this front, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, you reinforce that, I guess. I'm going to put you in your own army. Change around my field marshals as well. I want uh, Model. Do I want Model? Yes, I'm gonna get Walter Model for the defensive field marshal. Give him organization first or division recovery. Hmm. They're both good, but I like organization first a little more. And then I'll assign. Where is he? Von Kluge. Logistics wizard is excellent. Organization first, excellent. For my offensive templates. Good. Alright, alright. It's starting to come together. The armor's gonna withdraw. Mm. Focuses. Uh, focuses. You've not done Molotov Rhythm Chop. Uh, could do it. Also, don't think it matters that much. Second Vienna Award also doesn't matter that much, I think. Air renovations might work, giving you a little bonus to air. You'll need a bonus to air at this point. You're way behind. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what focus to pick right now. Pick air innovations to, I guess, uh, try to boost doctrines. Uh, what's the rest of this looking? Recon companies, don't like those. 
Yes, they're good, just personally really don't like them. Instead, I'm gonna research something else. Oh, you've done nothing of electronic engineering. Yeah, definitely have to catch up on that. And Panzerkampfwagen and Kanon Full were almost done, so I'm gonna follow those up with. Oh god. Um, gonna follow that up with infantry. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna follow that with improved machine tools, so get your production up as well. Um, probably need fuel refining because your fuel's gone. Airplanes are good. Doctrines definitely need more doctrines. This is fine. This is okay. I would work on AA. Armor is also okay. Yeah, it's it's okay for the most part. All right, no no weird decisions there. Mm, PP. We could get the army regrouping expert or the army logistics expert. I think army regrouping is going to help us out more. The rest of that PP is going to be used for anti-democratic raids, get our stability up a little bit, and war bonds. War bonds are going to help me build more stuff. Build more stuff. So I'm going to build a couple of synthetic refineries in the high development provinces because as you can see oil is a problem you can trade with the soviets for now that's also well i'm gonna make them stronger you can trade with the romanians but romania never really produces enough oil if left to the ai so uh, you'll be you'll be um on your own for that i'm gonna supplement that with air bases in the low countries this is where a lot of the fighting is happening right now for the air I'm gonna take everyone cancel their orders I'm gonna take these tactical bombers, move them over to Norway. They can provide cast and a couple of fighters, so we get green air. Now, everyone else who isn't busy, except for the naval bombers, I'm gonna reposition you to the low countries and we'll try our best to either get green air or at least try to claw our way to yellow air. This is a nightmare scenario. They are really hurting us, so we need to get control of these guys. All right, production, a lot more armor. I want more armor, this is fine. Definitely don't need that much artillery or that many light tanks. I'll be getting rid of the light tanks anyway. Need more fighters, definitely need more fighters. Need interwar armored car. Don't know why you're building it? I don't want any of it. Uh, Tone down the air is good. I don't think you have it in your divisions yet, but this is pretty helpful if you uh, end up losing the air war. And even if you don't, it's it's still nice to have. They're not that expensive. So I'm gonna reduce the amount of light tanks. I'm gonna keep producing a little of them because I will be converting those into light self-propelled guns to uh, supplement my medium tanks with. Um, cast is fine. Tanks are fine, so I don't need that much artillery. Definitely don't need that much artillery. Infantry equipment is also fine, I think. All right, that means we need to get uh, our trade going. I don't really wanna trade um, overseas too much with the Portuguese. It might be a problem if the UK does stuff. You're already sailing way around, so I guess that helps. And rubber is also gonna be a problem trading with Siam. Yeah, we'll be stuck in a rubber deficit for a while. It's fine. I just saw your navy. It's not bad. I see a lot of ships here, but I want everyone to return to port. You've got no oil. If you've got no oil, your ships are garbage. So withdraw everyone for now. I'll just go back to the Kiel naval base. Same deal for the surface fleet. Everybody just group up. We're done here. Pack it up. And a lot of subs in reserve. We'll use those later. So you're producing submarines. But you're not producing good submarines so let's improve on these if you're gonna make subs make good subs so cram all this equipment in there and you'll build way way better subs so we'll finish the ones we're building and any new ones are gonna go straight into production after that these sub threes will really help you out fighting the royal navy at least I hope they will. God, you've got such a rubber deficit. It's pretty bad. All right. I think that's pretty much all we can do without unpausing the game. So I'm withdrawing the navy. Yeah, stop that naval combat. Where are you? you just withdraw. It's going to be tight. It's going to be really tight. You're, you're on the clock here. We have about a year before the US joins. So ugh, it's going to be tight. Plan is going to be to rebuild my armored force. 
Uh, and find a way to punch through the flat parts of Belgium, so the north. You want to go through the north and just ignore the south. Punch through the north and take these victory points here. And that should be enough to capitulate the French. With the French out, just encircle whatever is left on the mainland here from the US or, or the UK or anyone. Destroy those divisions and we should be able to liberate Italy afterwards. I think that's our goal. Defeat the French, liberate the Italians, and if that goes very smoothly, we'll try to also knock out the United Kingdom. All right, enough blabbering from me. Let's get cracking. So gonna, I, I am going to need more air than what I've got presently, though. A couple more fighters at least. Maybe some casts. Get as much over the low countries as possible. I need fuel for that, though. Like a ton of fuel. I don't like trading with the Soviets, but have a little options. I've also noticed Hungary is our puppet, so I'm gonna uh, stop giving them guns for one. And see if they'll give me some troops. Alright, 31 divisions. Is any of it decent? No. No, not really. Okay, uh, which ones do I want? Your good ones, that's 20. And then, yeah, I'll just take four of your garbage troops to compensate. Uh, this army will have to do for now. Uh, good defensive general. Hauser? Here, Wilhelm Ritter von Leib. You can do that. Um, where do I send them, though? I think I want these guys to reinforce the Belgian front once they're in position and the Belgian front calms down a little. Maybe I can reinforce the Maginot. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The rest can go back to Hungary. Oh, and air innovation seems like a good idea, but I'd rather actually get more divisions out quickly. So I, I just want my army trained and ready to go. All right, Panzer Kampfwagen and Fear. I'm going to follow that up with the Wespa. Yes, I know it's not great, but I'm going to use these to augment my armored forces a little. So I need fewer medium tanks. It's still going to be enough to uh, deal with the AI. I, I just need to ease up on production because we're not looking too too great here. Okay, Hungarian troops are arriving. That should help the front line hold a little bit longer because the allies will counterattack. They're going to get their troops here. They're going to organize and they will counterattack. I need to hold that. Definitely need to hold that. Um, okay, got our JU-87s. Good. Uh, let's build up production. Time to start merging some divisions. Uh, don't think we'll have a lot of tanks left after I've consolidated all these because you did not leave a lot intact. I'll tell you that. Wow. Your armored forces took a beating. Now, you know why this didn't work, by the way? Um, because you had your armor spread out all across this line. That works if you just want to send an attack after attack after attack, but only if you have one, air superiority, like massive air superiority, two, overwhelming numbers and overwhelming troop quality. You had none of those. So, of course, you stalled. When you stall this hard, when you stall this hard, you kinda wanna stop. Don't waste all that equipment and I presume, oh God, million men, the flower of Germany's youth thrown away. Right, so if your offensives aren't going well, don't keep them going. They're not gonna get any better without you changing things. A lot of Germany players get stuck in Belgium. Why is that? Because they're trying to push through very bad terrain along a very narrow front with very bad divisions. Your divisions are not terrible, but they're not great either. Plus you're attacking along an entire front, so your strength isn't concentrated. You have more than you had, more than enough tanks to do this, but you went about it the wrong way. What you wanna do is knock out the Netherlands, you did that, and that opens up the northern flank of Belgium. Speed is key here. The instant the Netherlands falls, you rush your tanks towards this border and start pushing through Ghent, Antwerp, Kortrijk and towards Dunkirk, Le Havre and then cut in towards Paris. It can be done within a week. If, however, you're very slow and you allow the Allies to reinforce Belgium, which was the entire Allied plan for defeating Germany, you're gonna have a bad time because the Allies have way more troops than you, way more factories than you and you're gonna run into a stalemate like this. And this isn't even a stalemate. If they start pushing, I'm gonna have a hard time holding them back. So what you wanna do, and what I'm gonna try, once I rebuild your tank core, is make concentrated attacks along this axis, Antwerpen, Ghent, Kortrijk, and start pushing quickly 
towards the northern victory points in France. I'm not going to engage the enemy if I can avoid it, so I'm going to try and use speed to just drive around defeated divisions and quickly cap victory points. Let's we'll see if that works first, because I have no idea we can still pull this out of the gutter in a reasonable time frame, because the USA is going to join eventually, and I'm not looking forward to that. Alright, I got six divisions of reasonable fighting strength. I know it's not a lot, but... Uh, Park them up there near Eindhoven. I'll set up a plan. See if we can get that to work in future. Start the planning bonus going. Also gonna get some espionage in. Uh, radio interception. Yeah, cryptology is gonna be very important. You've done that. That's very nice. Might need some more operatives and might want to actually deploy your operatives. I'll put this one in Belgium. Try and force our way through eventually. All right, how's Norway looking? Uh, not too shabby. Oh, they managed to get a division there. Oh, but it's leaving. I'm gonna let it leave. Ah, oh, I was gonna let it leave, but alas, I'll have to pull my way through it. Try and get my way to Trondheim quickly. Go on, get to Trondheim. And come on. Okay, we got to Trondheim. One more position to overrun and I can stop my offensive. So this entire section here should be, yeah, it is now encircled, good. After we dealt with that, I'll push north and we'll see. I'll probably send these divisions back south to assist with the Belgian front. And I'll pull the Hungarian divisions north to garrison Norway. We've got better tanks now as well. Let's also start producing those. I'm going to immediately upgrade the engines, main guns. They'll do more damage, be faster. A little bit of reliability there so we don't break down by looking at them. Good. I've also got J-87s. Good. All right. Trade is going to be a nightmare. Uh, I'll just trade with the Soviet Union a little bit. And with our good friend Hungary. Stockpiles are looking much better. Okay, we're ready to deploy the first fresh army. This is going to be a godsend for the defense. Kesselring, get in there. All right, so we got those Vespas. Uh, Research-wise, mm, I'd like fuel, but I should probably get some air doctrines. Anything else that's interesting? Yeah, better guns are very much interesting, but... I'll just get air doctrines. Um, I'm gonna change the armor divisions a little bit. I'm gonna take a couple of these medium tanks out. It's gonna make the division a lot cheaper and replace them with two light cell propelled guns. Yes, I know I don't have them right now. I'll fix that now. Uh, production line, light cell propelled artillery up there. Good, and I'm gonna get rid of light tanks. That also means I'm gonna disband these Panzer divisions. Bye bye. So I'm down to three medium tank divisions. Hopefully I can get these deployed in a reasonable manner. Need a lot of tanks. Also frontline is looking super messy. Uh, let me just clean that up teeny tiny bit. Yeah, I'm gonna use a field marshal order. So shift, right click and drag. There, that's much cleaner. All right, the Hungarians. Uh, I don't think the Hungarians are gonna be needed for much longer. I'll send them to the Maginot. Then pull the troops from the Maginot over to reinforce. Uh, yes, yes, that's my plan. Once Hungarian troops are in position, I'll pull that army away to reinforce this section of the front. Good, it's a giant mess, but once everybody's where they need to be, it's gonna be a lot better. Uh, trade is a nightmare, as you do. We are not winning the air war, not even close to winning the air war. Uh, might actually just switch over to interception, just to spare our fighters a little bit. Oh, and that light self propelled artillery we're making, we can convert from stockpile now, convert many of our old light tanks. And the light self propelled guns, that is gonna make the production go a lot quicker. Still need a lot of tanks though. It's a lot of tanks we still need. I'm also gonna switch out Martin Bormann. Don't need that much PP anymore and I'll replace him with... Eh, there's nobody really here who speaks to me on a deeper level. I'll just get Canaris, get me another spy. Spies are pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna stop the army training and I could get air innovations. Reich's Autobahn is pretty cool. Westwall might be handy. Instead, I'll, I'll just get air production. I need more planes up. Oh, there goes Norway. That's cool. So Norway out of the picture. That frees up an entire army. I can send south again. Okay. Okay. I'll clean up whatever the 
UK. Yeah, the UK. Whatever the UK left down here. Quickly clean that up. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. I'll also form, because I like to do this for historical reasons, Reichskommissariat Norwegen. Ah, I like the Reichskommissariats. And pull this army south. But where do I put it? You ask. Hmm, good question. Kinda wanna put it on the Maginot and pull the Hungarian troops away to pull Coast Guard duty. Good lord, we need so much stuff. And we're not getting any from Portugal. Hmm. Oh, this is why. I uh, should probably allow to trade through here. Yeah. Yeah, that's our problem right here. Alright, those Hungarian divisions are now free and just guard my coast and Norway, I guess. Uh, as long as I don't get naval invaded, it should be fine. Set it and forget it. God, we, sh we should be bleeding the allies at that point. I think we are. We're hurting them a lot, but eh, I think they can take it. We, we really can't. Just need my tanks to get equipped. These are good enough. I'd like more tanks, of course. And then I have a few more in production that should be ready soon-ish. We've got about six months, maybe, before the West joins, so kind of want this to get a move on. Oh, the Greeks are in. Is Bulgaria in? No, Bulgaria's not in, but it... Oh, Italy's gonna lose everything they have there, aren't they? Oh, well, Italy doesn't really have much left anyway, so... Why would I even bother trying to defend them? Still, I feel like I sort of owe it to them. Anyway, as long as Bulgaria's not in, I'll not deploy these units. I'll keep them yeah, somewhere in that region. I can still rush them to that front should we need to. Uh, Production-wise, we're doing well. Like I said, just need to wait for my tanks. Sort of tempted to improve my fighters a little. We are not trading well with the UK, so I'm gonna upgrade the weapons, uh, reliability, and engines. Hopefully, we'll trade a little better once these guys start rolling off the production line. Yeah, uh, this is a pretty rough one. Like Once the Allies got a chance to be entrenched up here, it's rough. Uh, France has a large army, Belgium has a relatively large army, it's pretty good defensible terrain, and all of those allied troops are gonna start pouring into this very narrow front. It's gonna be hard to break them, even if we get these uh, armored units deployed and produced a lot more equipment. Okay, so I've got five armored divisions, they're reasonably well equipped. Uh, we're still lacking a few tanks, but we'll have to work with what we've got. What I want to do is push through here. A lot of these divisions are low strength, so maybe we can make something work. No guarantees, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, enemy air just takes massive chunks out of us. Uh, halt the panzers for now. Halt all offensives. I'm going to need to coordinate that with an air assault. Uh, I say air assault, there's virtually nothing left of our air force. Oh great, Italy pulled Bulgaria in. Uh, good thing we actually have troops on that front. Oh, Italy. Italy's pretty much gone. They're just on the islands there. But that never stops them from causing a world of problems for us. No, no, it never does. Right, so my plan is still to try and cut them off through Antwerp, but there's just so many divisions here. Oh, there's fewer divisions here now. Let's give that a try. Slow the game down, start our offensive, get everything that can still fly up in the air. Oh dear lord, I hope this works. And provide infantry support where possible. Maybe, just maybe, we can break through here. It's not looking too good, I'll admit. Don't seem to be defeating them faster than they are just replenishing the troops here. <laughs> just keep feeding divisions in. Oh, this is annoying. Should break them eventually, I guess. Once the armor really gets its teeth dug in. I'm losing faith. I'm losing faith. Yeah, I've got nothing left in terms of Air Force, so... This may be all a big waste. Or not. We'll see. All we really need is one gap in the line. We can siphon troops. True. Now they just keep reinforcing it faster than I can, you know, stop this quite sure how I can break that line. Uh, more tanks probably would work. More tanks would probably help. I, I just don't have more tanks. And by the time I can make more tanks, it's gonna be too late. The US is gonna be involved slowly but surely, whittling them down. 
in Antwerp. Please just just get in there. Just get in there. Get my armor in. No, no, they reinforced. This tile is just gonna be one giant meme, isn't it? Attacking from all sides and just constantly gonna run into reinforcements. If you're sitting there in the comments really annoyed at what I'm doing right now, um, tell me in the comments what I should have done because, oh boy, I am not having fun right now. I, I'm, I'm a little, little bit at a loss how to break. Oh, is it happening? No, it's not happening. I'm a little bit at a loss as how I'm supposed to break this. There is just so many divisions available to pile in there. Oh, oh, we got it. Good speed. Speed is key. God, just reinforce and get divisions into position now. Gotta keep pushing into Ghent. Next stop, not Ghent. Okay, so we made it into Ghent. Uh, are they gonna break us? No, they're not. Those divisions are trying to get out though. It's gonna slow me down. Anyway, this does create an opportunity. If I can get my divisions free here, I might be able to sweep down into France. Keep going, keep going. Oh, uh, that's a lot of divisions. Uh, we destroyed with that encirclement, at least that's good. All right, armor, armor has to keep moving now. We do not have the luxury of time, my friends, into Lille, down towards Paris. Round towards Calais, Dieppe, Le Havre, and then Paris. Whatever works. Gotta exploit this with speed. It's the only chance I've got. The infantry is filing in behind us, so at least uh, we won't get ourselves encircled, I think. Oh, Paris is open. If we can take Paris, it might be all over. How is the capitulation looking for the French? Ooh, if we take Paris, maybe they still have... Yes, they still have disjointed government, so go on, take Paris. Oh, you magnificent bastards. Yes! Triumphant France. Oh, June 1941. Establish Vichy France. Yes. The fall of Paris. And we did it. And Italy pop. <laughs> Italy's back. All right. Uh, I'll quickly organize the... I'm not going to say defense, but I'm quickly going to organize uh, troop positions and movements. Uh, just so I can quickly deal with whatever's left. We'll now sort out Belgium next. Uh, once Belgium's sorted, I will launch an invasion of the United Kingdom. Italy might actually be able to bounce back from this if we can give them their country back before the Allies uh, reconquer it. Oh, I am so happy we pulled that off. I was really scared there for a minute. That is a lot of Allied divisions still in Italy. Definitely want to clean that up. Maybe my divisions will get in place in time and get some encirclements. Belgium is also still a bit of a problem. Want to deal with them quickly. Oh yes, that is a very juicy encirclement we've created there. Uh, they're gonna regret walking into our turf. All right, Italy, uh, I seem to have fixed your embarrassment for now. Start pumping out troops for me. Oh, right, almost forgot reassigning my spies to the UK. They will be my next and final target. Get ourselves a bit of a spy network there and decrypt their cipher. Uh, feels good to get some justice for Italy. Yeah, that's the allied armies in Italy pretty much dealt with. They've got a couple stuck down south here, but should be able to keep them bottled up until I free divisions. That should be fine now to deal with the remnants of the expeditionary for oh, oh oh that's bad okay so the us is in the war now damn okay um i don't think i can still do this and not face the us i'm just gonna give it a try see if the natal and i'll see if the all right with the japanese declaring war on the philippines uh i think we're really really close to the USA joining in on the fun I want to see if I can quickly capitulate the UK at all I just want to give this a go I have no idea if we can still pull this off though so the plan is go from the port under Hamburg try to hit them near Hull 
wreak havoc on them with my quick tanks, uh, flood infantry in behind those tanks, and hope to god it works. Oh, uh, I should maybe deal with Luxembourg while we're here. Do I have divisions not doing anything? I probably do. There, you deal with Luxembourg. So in a few more days, in four days, we can launch. So the Navy is gonna go here. Everything that's left of my Air Force is going up naturally. God, I lost so many airplanes. Oh, it's not even funny how many planes we lost in this. Dear God. Anyway, uh, all those are going up, so... Here's hoping we can sneak past the Royal Navy. Okay, so these... Oh, they're already going. Okay, uh, quickly then. To the life rafts. Uh, you just naval invasion support. I'll change that out later. And naval invasion support for the surface fleets. Hope this works. If we can knock the UK out, that concludes this war and we don't have to fight anymore. I'm also going to quickly take out Luxembourg. You're sitting here being nasty. Right, so our tanks are off. Here's hoping they do not get immediately intercepted. Okay, so there's divisions in hull. Ugh. Not too many of them though. Okay. Um, we immediately start wrecking havoc. We do all the damage we can here. Low speed, extreme micromanagement. This is where we win or we lose. This is our only shot at defeating the Allies before the USA joins. Oh, we are quickly running out of supply. God, we need Hull. We need to take Hull now. We need to take Hull last week. I don't like doing this, but I am going to force attack. I don't care. I need Hull. Oh, God. If they only had just a one division there, I could have probably done it. Mm, don't fail me now, Manstein. Don't fail me now. Come on, man. Come on. Just... <laughs> oh, can we... Oh, Hull? Okay, if Hull falls, push into Leeds. Uh, you pin there. Oh, they're taking Liverpool. Okay, I managed to push those divisions out. That's good. Uh, oh, where is the... I thought I had a tank division up in Norwich. Wait, did it? Oh, I must have withdrawn. Doesn't matter. I have to keep going, have to keep going now. Towards Sheffield, Birmingham, all right. Uh, first batch of troops. You guys hop across this channel. Go, go, go. In Leeds, now push towards Manchester. Now we've taken Liverpool, so that cuts the UK in half, I think. We're already getting pushed in some places, that's bad. We are definitely on the clock here. Speed is of the essence. Oh, this tank division, is it gonna hold? Oh, it held! It held just long enough. Oh, God. Okay, the infantry has arrived. That's a godsend. Uh, please strategically redeploy. Hurry up and fill the front. Use the armor to go to town here as much as I can. Okay, I'll use the armor to surgically try and remove as many of the UK's divisions as possible. Speed is vital. If we don't do this quickly, it's over. Oh man, I'm so lucky that we finally managed to get those troops landed. I didn't think we were gonna make it there. Oh, uh, this is micro. Like, this is some it's pretty fucking tight micro. I'll be honest, uh, wasn't expecting to find this many UK troops still at home. I thought we had dealt with quite a few of them on the French mainland already. <clears throat> still, I think we can we can do this. If not, uh, the disaster save is still saved. This would just be the cherry on top to you know, win the war for him. I'm furiously trying to maneuver my tanks into a position where I can encircle London. If I can encircle London the UK is gonna have a very bad time, like I'm having right now. Uh, yeah, I'm nowhere near deciphering them. Ooh, I should probably reposition some spies. Come on, move. How much gas could the UK possibly have left in the tank? Not much, I'll tell you that. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna take London. Uh, assuming I can, that is. Should be able to. Ah, and with that, the US is going to join the war in any second now. Uh, I was too slow. 
The United States has joined the Allies, and with that, this is pretty much over. Um, so close, though. We are so close. The UK. I'm gonna try and fight my way towards a UK capitulation. And after that, we're gonna call it a day. This is not gonna be a victory in the long run, but it is fun. It has been fun. I wanna see how far we can take this. Okay, now the United States are definitely involved and we are gonna have a bad time. I'll fight this to the UK capitulation and then we'll call it a day. I'm not fighting the US. I don't think anyone's waiting for me to try and fight the US. It's just a horrible slog every game. And we've encircled their capital again. Birmingham? Birmingham. Alright, let's destroy Birmingham. I think if I was a little bit quicker with that naval invasion, or just dealt with France a little bit quicker, we could have actually won the war here. Ah, well. Live and learn. I still think we have done amazingly. Even if I do say so myself, considering where we started. We did end up losing... Yeah, most if... Yeah, yeah, pretty much all of our fleet's gone. Oof. Well, we can always build more U-boats. The UK isn't gonna build another island. All in all, pretty good success. Yeah, just the deal with whatever left in Wales, and then I'll push south hard before too many Americans arrive here. Oh, God. This is so nice. When I finish this, I can finally stop playing Hearts of Iron for the night. That's also very nice. Ah, nothing beats air power and armored warfare. You are not getting this island back, Britain. It's my island. Mine. Oh, the UK has capitulated. Just some stupid Americans left to quickly deal with. Okay, I think we can call this disaster save... Well, saved. Unfortunately, we were not able to completely capitulate the Allies. The US joined just in the nick of time. If we had, like, maybe a month longer, we could have done this. Oh, well. All in all, I'd say this was a pretty successful run. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. If you didn't like it or you spotted something obvious, remember, just hit me up in the comments. I'm always willing to learn. And if you want to support the channel and support what I do, check out the YouTube membership. It's that join button down there next to the subscribe button. It will take you to the membership page. It has all the information you need. Anyway, this has been me, Bittersteel. Have a good one. Bye.